it doesn't matter to me who carries the message as long as we've got a good conservative message going out there. I think it sends a message that they're, tr they're trying. That's not something that I just wake up one day and say, hey, this is what I want to carry in the state legislature. I mean, my wife has very strong opinions. Uh, come home and ask Dara Hager or my two girls or, you know, most of, a lot of my team that has been surrounded for me for years is women. My chief of staff, you know, my district director, my executive assistant. So the people that really run my life are surrounded by ladies. And, and a lot of the questions that I have either before the legislation is filed or during is in discussions with them. For myself, as a Republican woman, I don't have a problem with that. Um, to me, I don't have to have a woman carrying a, you know, have, it, have to have a woman carrying a bill for me. You know, I think that it's nice to have women at the table, which is why we're always looking for more women to run, because I do think it helps the message. But overall, I think Republicans have the same message, men or women. Women's issues are our country's issues. Unlike Democrats, we're interested in tax reform and cuts. We're interested in every economic and public policy issue there is. There is no women's issue. We don't vote based on our uterus. I would argue that those are elected officials who women elected in the state of Texas, and so they do represent a lot of Texas women's values. While a man may not be able to appreciate specifically themselves health issues that affect women, they know women who have health issues. And we all don't have to experience something to have an empathy for it or want to work toward finding a cure or help or try to make, facilitate, make things better.